Hello guys, welcome back to the National Tax Service YouTube channel. This is KJ. Here's our expert, our investigator, Jiang Yun. Please say hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Following the previous episode about year in tax settlement, we were talking about the basic deduction last video. So if you're uh, curious about the basic deduction, please click here for the another video to tell you about the basic deduction. And we will look into the deduction items frequently asked by foreign workers who are working here in South Korea. Then what kind of deduction is here for today? Today, I'm going to tell you about income deduction for credit card expenses, etc. and monthly land tax credit. First of all, income deduction for credit card usage and some expense, etc. It's ATC, right? So. Maybe it will be a big issue for for foreign workers, right? Yes, it definitely is. Credit card, cash receipt, prepaid card, debit card usage can be deducted. So then, can I get the deduction for all the amount I use? I'm afraid not. Credit card and etc. expense during the working period must exceed 25% of the total salary for deduction. For example, if the total salary is 40 million won, then I have to use at least 10 million won to get a deduction. That's right. So if you retire from a company you are not currently working right now, then you mean that you cannot get a deduction for this kind of expenses while you are not working, right? Yes, that's right. For example, if you work for a company from January to July and didn't get a job from August to December, the amount of credit cards used from August to December cannot be deducted. Okay. Uh, can I get a deduction for the payments overseas? No, you can't. The expense used overseas is not subject to deduction. Likewise, the amount you expense with credit cards that is issued overseas is not subject to deduction. Then can I get a deduction for all the amount I used as a credit card in South Korea? That's not true. Please look at the graph. Typically, credit card expense such as an insurance premium, a new car purchase, electricity bills, and water bills are excluded from the deduction. You should keep this in mind because there are some categories that are not included in the expense deductions. So then can I get a credit card deduction for the expenses that my family use? Credit card expense of family members who are subject to basic deduction can be deducted. That is the basic deduction we mentioned last time. Yes, that's right. There is something different here though. There were age and income requirements for the basic deduction, right? Yeah. There is no age limit for this income tax deduction for credit card use. So there is no limit in age. That means you can still get a deduction from credit card usage, even though your family member does not fit the age requirement, mm -hmm. but still they should fit the income requirement to get this deduction, right? Yes, that's right. The amount of credit card used by brothers and sisters cannot be deducted. Please be careful. And uh, we are going to talk about the next item. The next topic is going to be a rent bill. Mostly, lots of foreign workers who are living in South Korea would pay the monthly rent. Not, I guess, because they are not really familiar about 전세. 월세 전세. Yeah, and 월세 is monthly rent. And uh, to be straightforward, can they get a deduction for the rent bills? Unfortunately, foreigners cannot receive monthly land tax credit. Let me explain. The monthly land tax credit is an item that allows household owners and household members under the Resident Registration Act to receive deduction. However, under the current Resident Registration Act, foreigners are not allowed to be household owners and household members. That is why you cannot get a tax deduction for a monthly rent. Yes, that's right. For the same reason, uh, foreign residents cannot receive a housing-related deduction. Then, I cannot get any kind of tax deduction for monthly rent or housing bills at all? Uh, there is one way. What is the way? If... If... Everyone don't miss this. If you have received a cash receipt for monthly land you paid, you can receive an income deduction for credit card expenses, etc. 
So you cannot get a deduction for the rent bills or housing, but it's still a, an expense. So you can use it as a deduction for the credit card bills. Mm, yes, so right. then should I ask my landlord to give me a receipt? To yes. Mm -hmm, that's right. However, there are many cases where the renter does not sign up for the cash receipt company or it is difficult to request the issuance. In such cases, the employee may request the National Tax Service to issue a cash receipt individually. I see. Uh, that is a great tip. You have to realize that. You can apply by visiting the tax office or using the home tax website. When you submit the application, you should also attach a copy of the lease agreement and monthly land payment details. Then when does this cash receipt get issued? It will take up to two months from the date of application. So you have to prepare in advance to get a deduction for the year-end tax settlement, right? Okay, we have talked about some very, very important basic issues about year in tax settlement for foreign workers. And that's not all the items of the deduction, but we've talked, we've informed you about the most frequently asked items, right? Right. This is the first time you've come out to the National Tax Service videos. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, since it's my first appearance, I prepared a lot to tell you about what people are most curious about and what you guys will need. I hope it helped you guys a lot. So uh, thank you for watching this video. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave it down on the comment section. Please download Ear and Tax Settlement guidebooks uh, to get more detailed guidelines. It's down here. This is it for today, and we'll see you guys later, if possible. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.